Well, folks, that's the final one of the prep games for the British and Irish Lions. Uh, 49 points to three winners over the Stormers. That's pretty comfortable, really. Uh, it was an interesting game. The first kind of quarter of the game maybe was a bit a bit off. Took them a while to get into the swing of things, but once they did, the British and Irish Lions proved, yeah, certainly, certainly too strong for, for the Stormers who did you know, uh, keep on fighting as long as they could. But um, yeah, we'll go through some of the key events, some of the stats, and you guys can let me know your thoughts. Forgive me if I am keeping my voice down. It's what, six o'clock in the morning now? My kids are not yet out of bed. So hopefully they can kind of stay that way so I can sneak off back to bed. Having woken up at four o'clock in the morning for this one, um, I did miss the first two minutes. So whatever happened there, do let me know if it was anything special. Um, but as I said, the start of the game, it was a bit of a weird one. The Stormers guys seemed to have made some late changes. I noticed there was no Rikus Pretorius. Uh, De Jong was starting for that one. Um, so yeah, it was a bit, I guess they had to reject things last minute. It's, it happens from time to time. Um, and actually the Lions were, were conceding some, some penalties early. They conceded one at the scrum. Uh, Adams conceded one for kind of rolling in the tackle. So there were a few kind of uncharacteristic errors. Like I thought looking at the lineup, certainly the, the British and Irish Lions will, will flog them at scrum time, but not early on anyway, as the maybe technique wasn't quite there. Um, 13 minutes, the British and Irish Lions, I just need to say the Lions, don't I? Um, they got a penalty when the Stormers were offside. They went to touch, they were six meters out, they mauled it, they had advantage. Luke Kowandiki tapped and went. He ends up getting man of the match, but at that moment it wasn't his finest hour because, again, he gets pinged for kind of rolling in the tackle as well, and Wayne Barnes was seemingly pretty strict on that one uh, in this game. Very casual today, Wayne Barnes as well. I don't know, he just seemed, maybe he's just in a good mood. He just seemed like really jovial. Uh, anyway, just a gut feeling from it. Um, 19 minutes, the uh, the Lions held out the Stormers who went through some phases, but uh, Watson, Hamish Watson, ended up conceding a penalty for not releasing, and the Stormers actually went in front, and I was kind of shaking my head at what the Lions were doing uh, in the following play. Like, it was surely a good test for, for them. It ends up being a blowout, but yeah, they were kind of tested if we were to, like, we would at least get things right. Um, they they knocked one under a high ball. That was Marcus Smith. He bobbled it. I, I thought he had a good game pretty much overall, but at one moment he bobbled it when he was under pressure. I think it was Edvil van der Merwe was coming in to smash him. He bobbled it a wee bit. Uh, Hog passed it into touch. Adams knocked it on when he was carrying it. So it was just kind of error after error after error. And Hamish Watson's just conceded a penalty before, so you're 3-0 down. You can't get any continuity. Yeah, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a mess at that point. And you could see Warren Gatland or as much as you can. He's got pretty much a good poker face at this point, but in the box with the mask on. Not looking too pleased, but he never usually looks that pleased, so it's kind of situation normal, I suppose. Um, but I thought I wrote a note that the Lions are just kind of trying to rush things. They're trying to score from every play. Maybe you just need to go through a few phases and build some momentum before you try and finish things off. And um, sure enough, they switched it around on 27, 28 minutes. Adam Baird got the first try of the game. I wrote, at last, things click. And they did click. The passes started to stick. Started with Duan Bandamurva with a big old big run. And um, better handling all around from the guys in the build-up for that one. Seven points to three. The Lions are in front. And then maybe they get a bit more comfortable... They're able to start kind of continuing on that form. Keon Dickey gets one. He peels off from a mall, which was kind of, it just stopped in his momentum. He peeled off. So good decision from him to, to make that call, to back himself to get to the line. And he reached out and just made it. Good put down from him. 14 points to three. Um, right before halftime as well. Bad luck for the Stormers. I mean, they just said in the post-match they were a bit disappointed by the scoreline. Um, Masimla was about to box kick it about a minute before half time, but he slips, ends up kicking it into the backside of one of his own players. So it's an accidental offside, so it's a scrum chance for the British and Irish Lions. i got to stop saying the full name, don't I? Um, and they go through some phases. Eventually, Johnny Hill gets over the line, just, just managed to kind of um, 
handle it because it was kind of bobbling as well. And uh, he's out on the left wing. Again, it was still on Van Der and the build-up gets over the advantage line. And he has good value for that. Like, he's the key meter-eater for the, the British and Irish lines, man. He just manages to get go-forward ball, which is so crucial. And putting the defense on the back foot and then allowing space for everybody else. Um, but yeah, good hands in the build-up. Baird and Hogg were in it as well. So, um, yeah, third, not 31, 21 points to three at halftime. The position and territory are pretty even. 52-48 for, for both in favor of the Lions. Run meters is 130 to 248. So, yeah, the Lions are dominating what they're doing with the ball. Uh, clean breaks is 7 zip. So, it kind of speaks to the effectiveness that the Lions eventually got with the ball compared to the Stormers, who attack wise didn't fire a whole lot of shots, to be fair. Um, tackling percentage 78 to the Lions 89. Uh, I wrote the pace of the game is quick, and the quicker it gets, the more the Stormers are going to struggle. And sure enough, that kind of played out that way. Um, second half, it took 10 minutes, but the Lions eventually got another one. That one was daily offloading it into center field of just too much space. Kind of space that probably won't be there when they play the spring box, but as they kept the intensity of this game high, quick lineouts and whatnot, um, yeah, that space started to open up for them. Uh, interestingly, Alwyn Jones came on after 53 minutes. Uh, Warren Gatlin in the pre-match stuff had said he might get 20, but he's good to go longer than 20 if he has to come on early. Um... So he got 27 minutes, and he looked he looked sharp. Nothing wrong with him. He was passing, offloading, chicken wing, everything. So not afraid to take the ball into contact. So he, he genuinely looks fit. I don't know if he's on uh, massive painkillers, but he genuinely looks he looks fit. Um, they went close on the hour mark, the Lions, but they knocked it on near the goal line. That was a good carry for Mako, and I think Mako has had a couple of good rounds now. First game, he looked out of he looked yeah you know, fish out of water. But since then, I think Michael's coming along nicely. The form I haven't seen him in for, for bloody ages. Um, but yeah, he went close. But I think it was Xander Fagus and knocked it over the line. Maybe a couple of phases later. Um, but uh, yeah, then um, they got one. Eventually, it didn't get given, but they got one through Ty Burn. That one was from Marcus Smith cross kick. Um, but that one was called back for a um, for a forward pass in the build-up. And it was, I guess, doing Van der again. Forwards out of the hands. So that one was kind of rightly chalked off. The TMO wasn't too invasive in this game, apart from one moment towards the end of the game where they're looking for a clean-out, which has got nothing in it. Apart from that, not too much time wasted in that regard. Uh, Ferguson did get his try, though, on 68. That one was um, from a quick tap, five metres out. The Lions went through some phases and eventually... Um, yeah, the Stormers defense couldn't hold it. And it was all from a Stormers overthrow at line-out time, which was pretty costly as well. So 35-3. Uh, Reece Samick gets a bit of a worldy uh, towards the end of the game. Like a lot of these tries, like forward, 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 a back, and then a forward. Like it was all the forwards this game, but they got a worldy, probably the try of the game, to the backs. Um, that was Marcus Smith goose-stepping in his own 22. Uh, eventually gets it to he gets a big line break, gets it to Rizama who just shows absolute wheels and uh, yeah forty two three last one to the game I mean, another guy with wheels is a Ford but Sam Simmons um, the Stormers I wrote they're just done man by this point of the game seventy what was it seventy eight minutes they're knackered they've been tackling all day long too easy offloads galore and just finding heaps of space forty nine three. Um, the Lions had another chance to attack at the end, but they just kicked the damn thing out. They got a penalty at scrum time and just thought, nah, happy to call it quits at this point. Bring on the tests. Basically, nobody else needs to get injured. Nobody wants to get injured one one week out from the test. So, yeah, man. Uh, stats finish 52-48 for the position, 57, sorry, 51-49 for the territory. So that, that regard, it's pretty even. But it's not reflective, man. Run meters 666 to 203. The Stormers, as I mentioned, were not firing many shots. They had 130 run meters at half time. So that's 70 in the second half. They weren't doing bugger all in the second half, man. It was all the um it was all the lines. Clean breaks 13-0. Offloads 20 to 8. Um, I mean tackling percentage. The Lions finished with 88%, which is pretty bloody solid. Uh, the Storm was finished with 67, man, which is about as bad as you will see. Pretty much every one of their backs finishes with a tackling percentage between 40 and 60, 
yeah, they were just not having a good time. Um, their wingers didn't get any balls, us and um, Van der Merwe didn't do much. Um, a couple of them, I mean, some of the forwards like Johan de Toy got, was it 13 from 13 tackles? Rus got like 9 from 9, so it wasn't everybody, but yeah, some guys were kind of struggling. The Lions guys, Van der Merwe gets 138 run meters, beats 9 defenders. Smith on his starting debut, Lions debut, 90 um, run meters and 5 defenders beaten, makes 9 from 11 tackles, so a good shift from him overall, man. Really put his hand up as best he could. Cowan Dickey gets man of the match. He wins three turnovers. Henshaw didn't do that much ball in hand, but had 11 from 12 tackles. There were a few handling errors. You know, it wasn't as sharp as it could be. They did struggle to to bully the Stormers around for the first kind of 25 minutes. But once they did get on top and they those passes started sticking, yeah, it was just kind of going through the motions and um, not showing too much, but doing enough. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how well this preps them for the series. But anyway, I am going to sneak off to bed before the sun comes up. Hopefully, it's not too far away. Probably about half an hour away. See if I can fall back to my slumber. But yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on this one. Too easy? Or do you think the start will be a good test for these guys? Uh, obviously, a good shift from the forwards to get on the scoreboard so many times. But... um. And yeah, they'll be happy to kind of keep a clean sheet in terms of not conceding any tries. So yeah, plenty to like. Alan Wynn Jones is back. No real injury concerns, seemingly. Seems like a pretty good day at the office for the British and Irish Lions. Not so much for the Stormers, but they did acquit themselves early. Like, well, like for the first kind of, you know, 25 minutes. And then the game just got away from them a bit. Right, you guys take care. I will um, talk to you again soon. See you later.